So I just had this great idea about how I could tell you three true, amazing, fascinating, and magical stories. Um, and it could change the way you look at things and empower you to understand how um, you can have anything that you want. I'm gonna tell you three amazing, fascinating, absolutely true stories that can change your life, can change your perspective. I hope to empower you with these stories. They're true. They're my life experience. And hopefully they will give you a indication of what's possible. Now I'm not a perfect person. And so you don't need to be perfect. Story two. Story two I want you to get because when you're asking God for things, you need to be careful how and why you're asking. Because God inserts humor in what he gives you. So any gaps that you leave, that kind of stuff, those are going to be some lessons in those gaps. I've learned that the hard way. But more important than that, think of the three wishes. They are suddenly um, sad that they made the wishes. Well, remember, when you ask God for something, be careful what you ask for. See, I got really smart, and God's helped me, and he's done a lot of miracles for me since that first time that I truly trusted in him, and he showed me his power. Okay? And so throughout my life, he has helped me in numerous ways, and I could tell you numerous stories. I've only just simply picked three. Story two. I thought I was smart. I, I, I'd just gotten out of a marriage, and I thought I knew exactly the kind of woman that I should have. The kind of woman that would never leave me, the kind of woman that would love me unconditionally and that would just you know, be the right one. And I made this criteria up. And I actually thought the criteria was impossible to find a woman with these qualities. And so I made this criteria up and I asked God and I was really specific about all the criteria that I'd come up with and, and whatnot. And I said, eh, good luck on finding that one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'd love to give him a good challenge. <laughs> well, he found her. But here's the thing that I learned in that, is that I don't know everything. God knows everything. He gave me a lot of lessons in a very small bundle. Basically, the person that I had described was actually a, dis a prescription for disaster and a lot of life lessons. And then I came to a point in that relationship where I figured that out. And I was crying for a long time, an extended time, because I felt like I had put myself into my own prison. And I had. Actually, God had given me exactly what I asked for. <laughs> but I didn't ask for the end result. I asked for what I thought would get me there. That's a clue. I asked God for what I wanted, what I thought I wanted, what I thought would get me what I wanted. He found her. She married me. And I learned my lessons that we don't know everything. And so while I'm in this relationship, the next miracle story starts. I'm begging God at this point to, you know, I'm saying, God, this house is going to fall. And you're right. I didn't know. You know. You know. You know. I came to the realization. And when you come to that realization, then you're going to know. God knows. God knows everything, and he loves us tremendously, more than you can fathom. This is true for the entire nation, stronger with participation. In the plight, in the plight. Take the wheel of your life, navigate through the strife, let go of the weights that bind you. Inside is where you'll find you. The strength is what you'll find too when you stop looking behind you, behind you. Behind you.